I'm Garrett Colley, the Director of Studio Operations uh, here at Associated Crafts in Willett Hauser. So we do everything from creating new stained glass windows to restoring old stained glass windows. For a new window project, uh, we'll design, uh, starts out with our design team meeting with the clients. Uh, from there it goes into uh, full-size cartooning and patterning. All of the uh, glass patterns are created on computers, um, and then it's all cut out of mouth-blown glass that we import from Europe. Uh, from there, we'll go through and add any painting details uh, that we're going to add to the uh, window, um, depending on the, the design that's been selected. Uh, then the window will be built uh, together with uh, lead caming, we call that glazing. Uh, the window, after it's fully glazed and assembled, um, all of the solder joints or all the joints will be soldered. Uh, from there, they're cemented and then the windows are braced and then shipped uh, to the church to be installed. So this is our design department. It all starts with uh, concept sketches like this. Um, we'll go through and uh, make these depending on the story uh, that the client wants depicted in the window. Um, from there, they're working actually on glass selection here, so we'll pick out the color of glass uh, that's going to be used. Um, from there, we start blowing things up larger. Um, you can see these are working drawings, they're cartoons, uh, trying to get the scale corrected when you have a really small rendering like this. And then we blow it up to full size uh, figures and different things change um, in scale, so we need to make corrections and figure that out. From there, they'll, they'll print those out full size, um, and then they'll use that as a, a working drawing to paint over the top of uh, the glass. Uh, we also, we don't have the plotter running today, um, but we use a, a plotter. After this is done, we put everything back into the computer uh, where the lead lines are generated. Um, uh, kind of what Jonathan's working on. <laughs> what are you working on? I'm doing a scaled arch layout for still water. Oh, okay. So actually, I have a good example of that over here. Uh, we have three copies here. Um, this comes off of the plotter. This is the glazing copy. This is what the window will be built on. Um, this is the cartoon copy. Um, this is what they'll be painting on the window. And then we have the glass copy. Uh, the plotter actually goes through and cuts the paper templates that we'll use for cutting the individual pieces of glass. Uh, from there, we'll go into color selection. That's what Allison's working on. Hey! Um, so we'll pick the individual pieces of glass that are going to be used um, as a project in uh, Rostrum, Idaho. That we're going to be doing. After all the glass is cut, uh, we're kind of jumping around here, but we move into uh, painting. Uh, so they'll start by laying in the heavy black trace lines and then the uh, pieces are fired in the kiln where the paint actually becomes part of the glass. Uh, then they'll go through and add a layer of shading. Um, in this case, they've added two layers of shading and one layer of uh, trace painting. Uh, so each individual piece has been in the kiln three times. Uh, we do projects where they're in the kiln up to, to eight times, uh, depending on the complexity of the painting. And then over here we have glass cutting, so we kind of jumped around a little bit. Um, these are the templates that come off of the uh, computer, um, and then they're organized by color, and we'll go through and cut all of one color for a window. Uh, so that's what Lori's working on. Laying out, you can see the glass. It's all mouth-blown glass, so it has a variety in color, so we're picking certain areas for the colors to fade through. So we use, uh, these are the templates. This is just a scrap piece. Uh, but the glass cutter has a uh, uh, carbide-tipped uh, wheel on it, and it just scores the glass, and then you can come through and snap it. That's the new window side. The windows come in from these crates from our road crews. Uh, they're then photographed over here on a light easel, and then we make a rubbing of them. That uh, notates the original lead side and uh, profiles that were used. Um, after they're photographed, we make a rubbing of them uh, by placing them on a table, and then we use a lithography crayon to uh, get an impression of where the um, original lead lines were. Um, so there's a panel underneath wall right here. You can take, it's all white, and you can... Gonna have to get in and feel the individual pieces first. 
Well, that's it. So over here, uh, we start by underwater. We take the pieces of glass apart and separate the lead from the glass. Uh, once we have the individual pieces of glass laid out, um, we'll take and clean them individually. Um, we start by uh, scraping it off with tools and scrapers, so we test the paint to make sure that it's stable, getting all the old putty off, and we'll go through and clean the edges, we'll brush them quick, and we'll go off, and then we'll place it over on the rubbing. So after all the glass has been cleaned, um, or in this case it's a new window, uh, we'll go through and, and build it back together with new lead. Uh, so this is the process of glazing. Uh, Brenda starts in one corner and works her way across, uh, filling in each piece and bending the lead around each of them and, and cutting them to fit. Yeah. Well, I guess this is a good example. Um, after they've filled in all the pieces and surrounded it with lead, then they'll go through and solder each of these joints together. Um, then it becomes a window. That's really good, Brenda. Thank you. This is the cementing process. Um, so it's one of the final steps. Um, after the window has been glazed and each of the joints have been soldered, we'll come through and fill the void between the lead and the glass. It's kind of like grouting tile. It helps to make the panel stiffer. Um, it also helps make them waterproof and it adds a patina to the light so it visually recedes in the light. And over here is adding reinforcement bracing. Uh, so there's a structural bar that's soldered directly to the panel that helps to, to support it um, as it uh, expands and contracts in the heat when it's installed in the window. Um, so he's putting the finishing touches on that and then it's ready to be installed. We have a two-year apprenticeship program. Uh, the main uh, premise of the apprenticeship program, there's no formal education in stained glass, uh, so it's all on-the-job training. Uh, we've tried over the years uh, um, to formulate an um, outline uh, to teach people that process. Uh, it takes about two years. Uh, it's a paid apprenticeship um, where they learn all aspects of, of how to create a new stained glass window and how to restore old ones.